Welcome back to the uh, Attleboro Public Access. Uh, I've been on this show uh, quite a few times. Uh, I was an artist in one show, a interviewer in another, and a singer in another. And uh, folks, uh, we've got uh, today with me a fellow named Yassim, who is a national champion, an international champion, and a world champion in martial arts. And here he is right here. Yassim, how you doing? Good, I'm doing good. You happy to be on the show? Yes. I'm going to ask you a few questions before we get to your father and your gra and your uh, grandfather. Okay. okay. Uh, when did you start, and how old were you when you started martial arts? Well, I started when I was nine months. Nine months. Yes. Okay, that's a little over eight months, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so you started at nine months because your dad is a professional, right? Yes. Okay, we'll get to him after, and then. Nine months, and then the following year, you was a year old, and a, or a couple of months later, and then what did you do? And then, well, um, I got well, while I got older and older, I st I started competing competing in tournaments and getting trophies and belts. At nine months or t or a year, and you went into tournaments. Yeah. Wow. When I was five, I went to tournaments. At five years old, yes. isn't that wonderful? And you've learned a lot in your. You're now an uh, international champion and won everything that we're going to show the folks more. And if they ever went to your father's studio, they would see over a hundred and so many trophies. I never saw so many. And you're only nine years old now. Yes. Isn't that wonderful? What do you tell the young people to get some idea of what to be and stick to it, whatever they want to be, cowboy, fireman, policeman, but work at it? Because you had to work hard. You had to work hard. You've been over, uh, I'm going to ask your dad these questions, but you've been all around the world practically, in Germany and Italy and Ireland and uh, unbelievable. And you're only nine years old. I think that's wonderful. Well, listen, we're going to talk to dad now, and we'll talk to you some more. We'll talk to yeah. your grandpa, uh, Douglas, yes, over there, and then we'll talk to, uh, well, let's go to. Mr. Douglas now, I mean, Grandpa Douglas. <laughs> How'd you meet the family, uh, well, Doug? I've known the family for over 15 years. Wow. And I started uh, in Oak Street, where I first met him and his family. I fell in love with them because of the energy that they put into what they do. They're uh, very, 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 very technical. And they uh, they put a lot of hard work into what they do. He had a and studio up there on Oak Street. Yeah, yes, I did. remember that. Yeah. And then we finally moved to Brockton. But my point is that Amid has done so much with this young man here. Uh, and I seen it's unbelievable. You would not think that a person of his age would be able to do the things that he does. And a lot of times when we're practicing, it looks like he's not doing what he's supposed to be doing. But when it comes time to go out there and physically do it, it's in his head. It's, it's yeah. in his head. He gets it done. He gets that number one trophy, no matter what. And he was, a, and, and over the weekend we would have had five first place trophies. But one of them, the one of the judges' daughter, was, uh, you know, was was there. And um, but other than that, the, we, we, we're doing great oh, things. Oh, he's done well. I've seen the trophies. I've seen the studio. It's amazing. It's so, uh, uh, when I look at it, professional. Mm -hmm. uh, everything about it, the, uh, the way it's laid out, the five rings that are in there. Right. Uh, just a big place. Uh, yeah, well, like I say, he's, had, he's got over 108 different titles. And he's international, national. You know, he's all world. the world champion. I mean, he's the greatest of all times in my book. Yeah, you know, I it's can. like the Muhammad Ali thing, you know. He's the greatest yeah, of all there times. There you go. There you go. Yes. Nice going there. Yeah, see? Thank Let me you. talk to your dad now, okay? Kay. I know he's got a lot to say. He's so excited, not about just being here, but what you're doing for her, for the family. you got a sister, and you got a, a mother. you got a sister, and you got a dad that you like uh, buddies, I understand. I mean... Hello, sir. This fellow here right next to me is uh, Yassim's father. And uh, when I talked to him about how did he start the boy off, because yourself, tell us all about you. When did you well, start? Uh, 
Well, I want to I want to thank you so much first for having us again for the third time. I uh, remember uh, first time we did a show with you on uh, 2008. Way back. Yeah, yeah, way back on Brox, and then we had another show again uh, last month. I mean, uh, uh, in October, October 29th, yeah. after we came back from uh, uh, from uh, World Italy. Championship Italy, Italy, WKC World Championships in Italy, and here we are again. And I appreciate all the the support and love uh, for us and uh, your interest in, in us as a, a community. Well, we, and so you know, forth. you're from Brockton. And yes, sir. Uh, uh, we, we had Rocky Marciano and... Uh, yes, sir. Uh, what was the other I fellow's mean, name? Uh, Marvin Hagler. Oh, yeah. Uh, Marvin, Hagler. Marvin Hagler. Marvin Hagler. Marvin Hagler. Hit me in a room well, one day when, when I found out that he was a cowboy in Italy. You know, <laughs> he's in a movie. He's a movie. But listen, um, when did you start? At what age did you start? Well, I started myself at uh, age of five back home where I was born in Morocco, uh, Mohammedia City. Uh, I started first with boxing and did last more than, than, than two yeah. sessions. You know what I mean? After I was, uh, I was, uh, you know, uh, getting bullied in, in, in preschool and getting beat up a little bit. My father decided, you know, to to help me out a little bit physically since I was very thin and light and lightweight. So uh, put put me in a boxing lesson so I got beat up worse. <laughs> so the uh, second thing I know I didn't I, I skipped I skipped the lessons couple couple weeks after that and my once my father find out that I didn't go train and so forth, you know, he wasn't happy with it. So uh my fa my brother, which is was a, a black belt in judo, he got he got involved and uh he signed me up for karate lessons down the street where we lived back home and uh and that was my first uh, experience in martial art, and I started with the style of Shotokan at yeah. age of five. Yeah, at five. That's yeah, at fourteen. Wonderful. At fourteen years old, I got my first black belt, and I become become an assistant instructor back home. So uh, I did. So what? Right now, you you got your black belt. You've got something else. You yeah. Just well, got uh, today or yesterday? Yeah, this past weekend. Yeah, we just got in uh, an, uh, an Hall of Fame of Honor. Uh, received the Grandmaster Grand title. Master. Grandmaster title of, uh, for uh, from a martial art action magazine uh, honor awards uh, in Atlantic City uh, last this, this weekend past weekend in uh, Tropicana Casino. Uh, so is Nassim. He got he got his uh, second time uh, second time in a row. Uh, 2014 uh, for 2013 the best junior black belt competitor honor yeah, yeah, he yeah. had at his age nine years old he got he got that and uh, he got one for 2012 and this year he got uh, the one for 2013 in the meantime we uh, he competed in four divisions and he got great he got great result uh, he got he got great result he got uh, three first places one second place and uh, you get first place in sparring, first place in musical forms, first, uh, mi uh, first place in weapon form, then open form, he got second place. And uh, overall, he got two title belts. And uh, one I of them is right here, and the other one. Folks, this yeah, is, is let, me, right let me just say this the this is right a portion. Right <laughs> if you ever get on into the city of Brockton and right at the um, Westgate Mall, is a uh, Hamed uh, Martial Arts. Yep. Studio. 399 Westgate Mall. It's, if you go in and see what this young fellow has received, I'm not talking about trophies. Uh, size means nothing. It's yeah. what's on there. Yes. That counts. Yeah, he got, he got a pretty, much, uh, pretty much about... How many over would you say? Total awards over 500. Yes, it is and over 500. And that's all over the world. All over the world, statewide nationally, internationally, and oh, worldwide. Unbelievable. So uh, but, uh, 500 award including, including belts. He's got uh, nine belts altogether so far, nine title belts. And he's got uh, seven medals, five gold, and two browns. Uh, and he's got over 100, 160 uh, other medals and over 300, 340 uh, trophies. Wow. Beside the now plaques, the grand champions, and other stuff. Yeah, I see. And look at the way he looks today. I'm, I'm happy to be sitting <laughs> beside him. But there's a there's a picture up here, a billboard, a part of a billboard. Yes, sir. That this young man and you yeah. will be in a movie in Hollywood, California. Yes, sir. Yeah. We starting we starting to film in the the upcoming martial art action movie in April. God's willing, in April. 
and directed by uh, Michael Bogham and assistant director Cheryl Duncan Wheeler, James James Wilson, I and Ewart. Now James Wing. Wilson is the um, that's the brother of the the, the star and world champion and martial arts uh, movie star. And stars. his name on Don Wilson the Dragon. The Dragon. The Don dragon. yeah. The one on the left is yeah. Don Wilson the Dragon. And what about the girl? She's the the lady the lady dragon. She is one of the w one of the most popular uh, martial artist in the world. Yeah, she know. has over 35 movies. She is a Hall of Fame uh, so many times in many in many different events. She is uh, a world champion, a grandmaster, and great lady. And, and now, father and son, yes, they we called are. him, they, they named him Young Dragon. So the Don Wilson is a dragon. He's 11 times world champion. He's got over 54 uh, started over f 54 movies, bunch bunch of movies and uh, martial art movies, action, sci-fi, and the lady uh, dragon, and the lady dra uh, lady dragon and is uh, uh, Cynthia Rothrock, and Nassim is the young dragon. I'd like to show this, if I may. There's the young dragon, yep. right there. Now, yep, I'm not. I didn't turn it this way, and I didn't turn it that way. That's him standing. And that's the foot that goes up in the air, which is almost. Miss I tried it last yeah. night, and I fell on my cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, that picture actually, matter of fact, was taken in Canada last year, 2012, uh, at the event WKC World Championships in Canada. After he won his uh, second world title uh, in forms, uh, that was the extreme forms as well. He won the gold medal and world championships title. Unbelievable. Yes. That's a so uh, we are very feel, excited. Uh, you know, at nine years old. Yes, sir. Uh, and I think if uh, we talk to Nas Yasim again for a little while, to tell the young people that there is a place for you in this world, oh, yeah. but you have to make it. Yes, definitely. No one can tell you what to do and how to do it. Hard work, hard work pays off, and uh, to be the best, you got to try your best. To be the best is your best. Yeah, yeah. You, to be the best, you got to try your best. And, uh, you know, commitment it has to do with it. Uh, you know, uh, there is no luck and it, nothing has to do with luck when it comes to it's dedication, to, uh, to dedication hard commitment. work, commitment. You know, you got to work hard, you know what I mean, and try, uh, and try your best. We, we have certain things that we do and we go by, you know, to, you know, it's, a, it's inspirational, uh, inspir inspirational and motivational speeches that we do and we we watch and we read and, and before the events and before before we, we we get into competitions to bring our to boost ourselves up a little bit and you know and and make sure we understand why we dare in the first place you know we have a mission you know in this competition this. you have a wife yes yes sir you have a young daughter yes my young you daughter yes yeah. and you work as a a family. We we run a family, family business. Buddies, yeah, we're children. family, best friends. I mean, uh, me and my kids. We spend a lot of me and me and my family. We spend we spend a lot of time together. I mean, we are together 24 hours. We work uh, together every night, every day. You know, we travel always. We're always together, working around. You know, between me and my uh, hey, you just my came daughter. Back from my, where? Yeah. Uh, yeah, from Italy a couple no, of weeks back. Actually, we came back from Italy in uh, end of October. Then we went to New York for a talent show. Then we went to Washington, D.C. for another talent show. Then we went to California for the movie, the martial arts kid the movie that we're going to be in. Uh, it was in the beginning, uh, beginning of uh, January, uh, January. Then we just ca came back again from Atlantic City from another big event, the martial art action magazine show. Uh, weekend extravaganza weekend. Now while he's doing a scene, I saw that while he's doing it. Yeah, he had a competitions. They, they, they wrote uh, a song for him. Yes, we just get uh, a new song uh, after Nassim That's gonna be that's gonna be used for uh, the, movie? The, the movie as well. It's called Young Dragon by uh, Young T. One of uh, it's like a family member to us uh, from Boston. Mm -hmm. The the gentleman he did he made a song about. Uh, the uh, Boston, the bombing in Boston happened. Oh. That bombing, is, it's like pray for Boston. Pray he, for Boston. Yeah, he, he's got a couple, couple of hits out there, great songs. There's uh, pray for Boston and uh, freedom. 
as well. It's, for, uh, it's about Massachusetts and so forth. Mm -hmm. the, we, we use these songs in a lot of our videos and a lot of our performance as well. well. It, okay. it sends a great message to youth. Uh, it's very positive. Uh, helps uh, personally. Personally, it helps it helps me and it helps my students. You know, to to be motivated and try to do your best and work hard. You have on. a lot of students that are only ba little peanuts yeah, about um, that baby. We, I, we, we switched around a little bit. Uh, for the last couple of years, we, uh, we focused more on youth and teenagers. I don't teach adults anymore. I'm not too happy saying it, but because mm. uh, of the they style and because uh, yeah, of the yeah. style and of what we do. I mean, what we do, it's a sport martial art. It's not a regular you martial art. You have a little girl. What yes, we name? have two, two and a half years old. You met that two little baby. Two and a half yes. years old. She's yeah. no bigger Lena. than that. Lena. Yeah, Lena. Yeah. And she's a champion. Yes, she she entered the state championships, WKC, PSKL, and AMXMA state championships last year. And she won. And we, ha we have, in our school, we have about... 64 uh, state yeah. and uh, state and uh, regional champions. Wow. We about we have about uh, uh, 25 world champions that went to our school. 25 world champions, including the youngest uh, youngest of them is uh, my son Nassim. Nassim. Uh, and we l l for the last two years, like I said earlier, we focused more on teenagers and the kids because of the style and the training we put together and the time we invest in our training and traveling that uh, in my opinion the adults couldn't handle it i tried it before but the adults couldn't handle you know two hour section training commit to your schedule come at least three times three times during uh, a week during the school season summertime we run we, we run a summer camp and when we train about seven hours five days a week that's where everything happens and the magic uh, is ha happens in the summer where the kids get to play swim fish and dance and, and, martial and practice martial art and play video games and we have trampolines we have carts yeah, we ride the carts and all that inside the inside Listen, our you've gym. got a show coming up is it uh, international or, uh, the one in june uh, yes, we are holding WKC. Uh, by the way, I'm oh. a president of WKC USA. We hold in a national championship WK, uh, WKC, the original WKC, the original and the best, I should say, uh, WKC World Championships. We hold in the national championships on my facility, 399 Westgate Drive and 397 Westgate Drive, Brockton, Mass. Uh, on June seventh, we are inviting some big celebrities. Uh, I didn't want. I don't want to mention the name yet. It's going to be a big surprise. It will be. Uh, but will you be mentioned. Get a surprise last night. Yes. I can tell you yes. That. Well, we can say that surprise. But the people they come in to be uh, giving the awards for the national championships, big movie stars from Hollywood, uh, world champions as well. They're very. Uh, they are legends in martial arts. Not only one or two, or maybe three maybe three legends they're going to be coming over to assist and, and watch and June uh, 7th. yes Ju actually june 14th sorry june about that 14th. we're changing the date okay. yeah it's a week after another tournament june 14th uh, with god's willing uh, and for the world championship is going to be whoever qualifies is going to be rep uh, representing team usa our country and uh, portugal in november 2014. oh that's wonderful Yes. Let me get back to this guy yes, sir. right over here, and Grandpa. Grandpa, know how to do some of your uh, some of your moves? <laughs> huh? Oh, sh I bet he does. Huh? <laughs> so listen, uh, let me just get back to you a little bit more. Uh, what grade are you in now? I'm in fourth grade now. Now, how are your marks? Are the, your, your, how are you making out with A, B, Cs? Yes, a lot A and Bs. A's and B's, and you still do your martial arts? Yes. And when I went down to, to visit your father's uh, big, actually big place, uh, the other night, a couple of weeks ago, uh, you were on the trampil trampoline, and you do your flips, and you f go flying up in the air, and end but up on... He was teaching the yeah, class that day. you were teaching the class. Yeah, he was teaching, he was helping me teach the class. I can't imagine. Well, how many hits does he well, have? Well, uh, he's got this hit and almost, 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 almost 400,000. 400, hit on a video on a video he performed in Italy there was the, the ceremony for the, the uh, finale cer uh, ceremony 
in w, uh, WKC World Championships Italy. Okay, uh, he performed for uh, for all the competitors and spectators. There was a lot of people there, more than I should say, like two thousand, three thousand people. What about Facebook people. and all those? Yes, Facebook. He's got his page, his Facebook page uh, under Nassim Young Dragon. He's got just about now just 35,000 yeah, 35, fans. Wow. Yes, followers and fans. He's got he's got a big uh, a big fans. What I like about his fans, they are uh, international fans, not only from United States, yeah. but a lot of them from uh, Northern Ireland, Canada, Morocco, Mexico. Oh, uh, we have a lot of followers from uh, Algeria. Our number one followers is, are from Algeria, Tunisia, from uh, uh, from Egypt, from uh, Germany. Now, a lot of people from a million, France. A million what you call me? A million views. We are we're almost closing a million views in YouTube. Yeah, he's got over 280, 284 videos where where he's been performing all over the world, conducting seminars, uh, assisting in, in other seminars, competing, teaching, having fun. It's uh, being in Hollywood, experience in Hollywood. We have some videos during during uh, the movie, the martial art kid movie. Uh, he performed there. For all the the actors and directors, and yeah, you got a call so last night that when you called. Yes, me. we had uh, we had a great uh, great news last night. We got a message from uh, from uh, Doctor Bob Goldman, uh, one of uh, biggest uh, biggest known doctor and an athlete himself. He's a world record and Guinness Book record so many times for uh, doing a handstand push-ups, yeah, doing yeah. so many things. He is uh, one of the most popular. Uh, and what did he tell you about uh, one of well, the Well, we guys? we are we got invited to a big event. Uh, it's an international sport, uh, international sport uh, awards that ha that's going to be that's going to be on March March first in Las Vegas VIP only, where where the the, the uh, inductees only were champions and one of the best athletes in the world to be there and uh, is hosted by by uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger the former governor yes oh, and still governor, yes think. and usually and for this event it's going to be Cynthia Rothrock is going to be it's one of the uh, inductee there and uh, other movie stars like uh, like I said, uh, 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 Rock, uh, Stallone? Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> there is a couple names I, I don't recall. The, uh, wow. I, I don't recall the names. Couple, couple superstars and uh, athletes from all over, from football players to body lifters to. to oh yeah, it's amazing! It's uh, one of the yeah. biggest, biggest uh, 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 gathering sport, international sport gathering. Over 180 nations. That will be TV. On yeah. TV. Oh yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be live this and year. It's gonna be live. First? March first, yes, in Las Vegas. Wow. Yes, and and Doctor uh, Doctor Bob Goldman, he he wrote uh, he was one of the first people that wrote the the book uh, about the fitness, health, fitness. He I think he he is the uh, is the man that came up with the word the anti aging. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah. he's uh, he's one of the the biggest, and it was we had a great time uh, being with him at the at the last event. Nassim demonstrated some kicks with him. He was he showed him some stuff. On the floor, and he's, he's pretty really, good, huh? He he spoke highly of Nassim. He loved Nassim. Well, he's a man that knows about sports and fitness. He's a big doctor, very without, known. Without he knows about gymnastics. He knows about. Uh, he is a black belt himself. Doctor Doctor Goldman is a black belt in kung fu, I believe in karate as well. He is a uh, he he's a nutritionist as well. He knows about. The techniques when he sees it, he knows about uh, the martial art or uh, body bodybuilding or any type of sport. He is the man, you know. So he sees Nassim and uh, and he spoke highly uh, well, of Nassim, a fitness part, and uh, he followed him. He, he checked out some of his videos and uh, he wrote a big article uh, last night and we posted it all over Facebook. Uh, big article about Nassim talking about his experience and he posted some videos and some pictures and he and he is planning posting a big article by the end of this week in his big website uh, so well, let me, uh, the how many